Do you think one of the biggest mistakes people make is they either buy too far out of the money or they don't buy enough time? I think nine times out of 10, people complain they run out of time. So oh, really? what happens is sometimes they look at a chart, let's say it's in an uptrend, right? Typical stock that's in an uptrend. And then all of a sudden the market decides to not cooperate with you. From doing top-down analysis that the market has 60% to do with the movement of a stock at any given time, right? It doesn't really matter what the stock is, unless there's news, in, unless there's specific news, but under, under normal circumstances, the direction of the market really drives the direction of an individual stock at any given time. So the problem is you could be bullish on a stock and if the market or the sector doesn't cooperate with you, they could play the sideways game on you for a couple of weeks. Now, if you're trading a stock, that's okay. You're not losing any money, right? But if you're trading an option, you are losing money. You're losing money every single day because of something called theta decay, which we talk about in our classes, obviously. And that is your biggest enemy as a long option trader. When you're buying, when you're buying an option, whether it's a call or a put, your biggest enemy is time. So basically that is the nine times out of 10, the biggest problem. Also picking something that's out of the money tends to be a problem too. A lot of options traders, they look at the prices on an option chart and they notice that the in the money or the at the money options are more expensive because they have intrinsic value attached to them or they're closer to current price. So a novice option trader will be like, I could buy 10 contracts of this one as opposed to one contract of that one. So they'll go ahead and they'll load up on out of the money options and lose all their money. So that's also a very, a very common mistake.